Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to take a look at these sticks. These are the Goodwood brand sticks, actually made by Vader. These are budget line sticks that Vader makes, but of course the question is, are they any good? So we're gonna to try to figure that out today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how the specs on these differ from your typical Vader sticks. We're gonna do some roll tests, see how straight they are, see how long it takes for them to chip, and we're gonna do some sound comparison of these versus the high-end sticks from different manufacturers. So as mentioned, these Goodwood sticks are made by Vader, but you won't really find any information about them on Vader's site, though there is some limited information on the retailer site. The important thing to note though, is that these sticks are effectively seconds. In other words, they didn't pass Vader's quality control for one reason or another, and they're selling them under a different brand name to make them a little bit uh, more affordable so they can push out this other product they wouldn't be able to sell normally. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the 5A sticks from Goodwood. From what I can tell, these are actually closer to the Los Angeles style Vaders than the classic 5As that Vader makes. I say that because when I measure the diameter on these, they are 0.57 inches in diameter, which is the same diameter as the Los Angeles style. Just as a note, their classic 5As are a little bit thinner than that. These are also supposed to be 16 inches in length, and they seem pretty close, but when I was just eyeballing it against the Los Angeles sticks and other sticks, they seem to be a little bit short of that. Maybe that's the thing that failed quality control for these sticks. Now, one really important thing to note on these sticks is about the tip. And that's because I did not get the tips that I thought I had been ordering. Vader's site, they don't have any information on this, so I'm just dependent on the retailer's site. So Sweetwater's site, it said oval style tips. And the image showed oval tips. I went on Guitar Center's website. Their image also showed oval tips. The sticks came in and they're acorn which is a little disappointing for me because I prefer the oval style tips. Why are they acorn instead? Well, you know, one thing to note, assuming these were supposed to be Los Angeles, the Los Angeles sticks are typically oval, but they do make an acorn version of it. That means either Vader just started, switched things and started selling acorns as the Goodwoods and didn't tell any of the retailers, or, and this might be more likely, Whatever, whenever they get a big set of, of rejects of either the Acorn Los Angeles or the Oval Los Angeles, they just package up those same sticks as Goodwoods. And as a consumer, you may have no idea which style tips you're gonna get. Okay, so we've discovered two problems with these sticks so far, right? The length is not quite 16 inches and I don't know what kind of tips I'm gonna get when I order them. So why bother ordering them? Well, as I mentioned at the top of the video, these are supposed to be budget line sticks, They're supposed to be much cheaper. So if you compare the price of these, like a single pair versus a single pair of the standard Los Angeles, these sticks are about half the price. And that also seems that savings of half price seems to scale with the bundled packages. Okay, so let's jump into quality a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these sticks upstairs, I'm gonna to start to roll them around on a table and we'll see how straight they are. Okay, so the package that I bought, it had 12 sticks in it. I'm not gonna roll all of them. I picked six at random and numbered the little sleeve just so I could keep track of them for later. Let's start with pair number one. So this stick on the pair, not too bad. I do see a little bit of motion here, but not terrible. This stick on the other hand though, is not very good. I could, when I hold it about like this, I can see light coming in about right around here. And obviously there's a lot of motion like this going on. So first pair, one stick, okay, one stick, not great. Pair number two. So 
So these sticks, I would say, are, you know, they're maybe, they're not as bad as the bad stick, the really bad stick on pair one, but neither of them are, you know, blowing my socks off either. There's a quite a considerable amount of, of motion going on. So maybe a little bit worse than the better of the two sticks on pair one. On to the third pair. Yeah, same same sort of story. A considerable amount of motion. This actually might be the worst pair so far. I can see a good amount of light down here, so there's definitely a, a bit of a bow on the butt side of the stick on this one. And this one has a little bit of light coming in as well, not as much over here. So I'd say pair three so far is the worst of the set. On to pair number four. This one stick is really bad. And this stick is not, <laughs> nothing great either. So this is kind of, I would say pair four seems uh, kind of close to pair three. This, this does, generally doesn't matter either, but just as a little note, it looks like on the sleeve on this one, there's just a little bit of damage. Maybe they just didn't cut it quite right when they um, were making the boxes. Uh, but of course, I'm more concerned about the sticks than the sleeves. On to pair number five. So this is this is now this is now the worst one of the set. There's a ton of light. If I, I don't know how well you can see it like this, but if I hold the stick just like this, there I can see light coming in from here all the way to the back here. So there's just a very long bow going on in the stick. And this stick is got a bit of a bow too, but the light is only really going from here to here instead of the whole stick. So uh, so far, so far as I've been going along, they've been generally been looking a little worse, but let's take a look at the last one we're going to roll today. Pair number six. I'd say this one, this pair is maybe actually a little bit better than some of the others. This is looking closer to being pair, like pair number one or pair number two. Uh, so far on the budget sticks, um, the length is not quite 16, but pretty close. It's definitely not the right style tips and um, a good amount of bowing. You know, I've always felt that the Pro Marks and the Vic Firths are a bit straighter than the, the Vaders I've used in the past. Uh, but the standard Vaders that I usually use do seem to be uh, straighter than the, the budget sticks. All right, so what's next? Well, I'm gonna start to play on these sticks and we're gonna see how long they take the chip so we can see if they last as long as your typical Vader or not. Okay, so I've been playing with two pairs of these sticks from before, and this is what I found. I started off with what was pair number three. I got about 30 hours of play time out of them. Now, sometimes on sticks, I see upwards of maybe 50 hours that I can get before I chip the tip. But that's usually on the oval style tips, which have a little bit more meat on them. So 30 hours is not too bad for an acorn style tip. After this, I grabbed another pair, which was pair number one from earlier. And I got about 25 hours out of that. So the life of the sticks, not too bad. That's probably the only thing that, uh, only positive that I can name out of uh, these sticks so far that I've looked at. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do some sound tests. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from those four remaining pairs. I'm gonna just play on the right a little bit just to hear whether or not they are or are not pitch matched. And then we'll do a little bit of a comparison between the Goodwood sticks versus 
some uh, Vader Los Angeles sticks, Promark, and Vic Firth. Okay, so what's the bottom line on these sticks? Well, obviously they're half the price of your normal sticks. So if you're just going for bang for your buck, then this might be the thing for you. But keep in mind that they were not well weight matched. Um, and as a result, they were also not well pitch matched from what I could tell. They were slightly shorter than they should have been. There seems to be no way of knowing what kind of tip you're gonna get from the sticks. Um, so the only thing that seemed to be a positive on them or to kind of put it at the same level of any other sticks was that the, the life of the stick, the durability seemed to be unchanged. But yeah, everything else from the weight to how much bowing it had to, you know, the product information not even being right, those all seem to be uh, big negatives. So for me, I would not go with uh, getting these good with sticks again. I would rather just get the normal Vader Los Angeles sticks if I was gonna go that route. So I hope you guys found that useful. I am putting out other drum related content all the time, of course, you know, more gear review stuff and recording tips and lessons and all sorts of other stuff. So if you don't wanna miss out, then don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace. <laughs>